Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long week of startup, so haven't really been getting the videos out to you guys. But it's Sunday. I'm gonna try to put that motor back on the skid steer. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Well, if you haven't done so, slide on over, subscribe to the channel, give the video some likes, some comments, whatever you're feeling like. Got my gasket. So if you haven't watched previous videos, I'll give you a quick overview. Motor goes in the skid steer. Um, it's a five cylinder deer motor made in China, or in Mexico, my bad, Mexico. Started putting it together last week um to go back in the machine it was at the machine shop got a new crank it broke the crank in half if you haven't watched that go back to the other videos you'll see um so started get, getting it ready the oil pan was put on the wrong way which is honest mistake it could go either way it's just a sump down um the biggest thing was this drain line has to go one way so that it comes out the side to drain if it goes the other way it hits the fuel tank so drop the gasket off um being that it was New Year's, I think it was New Year's. It was it was a weekend. It was New Year's, I think. Um, couldn't get a gasket, so they got me one on Wednesday. Which our local deer construction equipment dealer is about five minutes that way, so it is local. It's a beautiful day, so there's a lot of people out. Yanka's just wandering around doing whatever he wants. Doesn't realize everybody's dogs aren't friendly. But, alrighty. So I got it. Um, yeah, the color's wrong. It's ag yellow, not construction yellow. I know. Everybody's told me that already. I know. I'm not that worried. But we're going to pick it up. And uh, put that oil pan gasket on. And then we're going to get it over. And I got my, my borrowed engine left because my pickup's still not together. Hopefully this... This week, I can get to the machine shop, get them the injectors, the glow plugs, um, and the oil pump. And then hopefully, I can get back together. I got to paint the frame still. I got all that to do. But that is my plan. Uh, yeah, I'll pick it up, put the oil pan back on, get it over there, drop it in. This is going to be a struggle because I took pictures of how it goes in there. And that was two phones ago. So I don't have any remembering, but I do have plenty of buddies that have a skid steer the same model or so. Biggest questions I got is how wires are laid out um, and how the fuel system's laid out, how it mounts. So we'll get it, but it's hard to remember stuff after a year of it hanging out. If you guys want to watch that they don't hit that, appreciate it. How is that looking? Good? What we did last time was I just put two, three bolts back in it just to hold it. I'm probably showing you the best angles. And I'd clean the, clean the pan up and I can't do this with one hand. Let me sit it down. So I, we had cleaned the pan up. Got all the material off of it and just set it back on so it could sit on it. Uh, 
Um, so we're in a good boat there. So when they put it on, they use a whole bunch of silicone, which it has that in as a John Deere part when you get them. I don't think I ordered it, the silicone, but I got gasket maker to go with that. So what I was waiting on last week, that held up the whole operation, gasket. I'll just slap this bad boy in here, put some silicone to hold it in place. Um, it only goes one way, I think, here. So usually they got some silicone um, that they put on with it. I got some red RTV, which is high temp. I need to get some more of my good stuff. But we'll just put a thin layer on it, just extra protection. And this stuff is old. The gasket's going to do what it does, but... Basically, the silicone holds it in place a lot. It does prevent if there's something weird about it. God, this, this thing is horrible. So I started using Loctite gasket maker and stuff like that. Fantastic, but a lot of places don't carry it. Colburn actually is an expert in some of this stuff. And he was the one that got me for wheel seal gasket maker and that's been awesome on the white truck clearly the hub had an issue and it wasn't sealing so i gotta get a bunch of that oil and more and maybe i'll won't be such an amateur at some of this stuff but the biggest reason I'm putting it on there is to hold this in place while i pick it up and struggle to attach it Like I said, the gasket is really what seals it all. And they do got a little rubber piece in between, so. Well, let's see if I can do this by myself. Hold it, put some in, not move the gasket too much. What could go wrong? You gotta go in the right way, right? Yeah. Oh, piece of cake. Last week, yeah, holding up progress all for a $31 gasket. A lot of people wrote in it. It's better to do it right the first time than have to pull it back out when it leaks. Which we could have put just gasket maker on it. I would kick myself if I go through all this work and have to do it again. There we go. That's on. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to want to put that hose on before I get in there too. So pull the tape off that. And it's only taped because they put tape fittings over sensors connectors turbo drain starter when they painted it so yeah we'll get it figured out i have faith in us you guys believe in us why does that not sp oh that's a lock nut there we go now i know why Struggle fest.
Yeah, this definitely had to go on first. Well, you could take that line off and put the fitting on first, but I don't think that would work as well. So points out, and like I said, all this is is a drain line for the oil pan because you can't get into it. So sticks out. This comes underneath the battery box. This sticks out. This holds it right onto the edge. You take that out, oil drains out. That's all it is. Oil cooler. I think we're ready to bring it over there. I think. Let's go see if we can drop this bad boy in there. I'm not really sure what's gonna work best. Got everything I need, I think, maybe. We're gonna find out. My idea of this engine lift isn't gonna work because we can't fit it underneath, I don't think. So we're gonna unhook that chain and get it out of the way and then try to sneak it in with the mini loader. I think we took it out with the mini loader. I wanted to just get it close enough, but tire sitting on that block. There's a pile of dirt underneath that's frozen. <sighs> Never, nothing's ever easy, but we'll take that chain off and see. Go down a little more. Watch for Well, having flashbacks of life, we put that front mount on, and that's got to come off, got to get put on once it's halfway in there, because it touches on the line, so, learning. Give it a try. Go down. Watch that line. Up. Oh. You got more room to go like that for a little bit. Go down. Just gotta watch the fuel tanks and stuff. Watch our heads. Yeah. <laughs> go down. Go down! Yeah, he is gonna hit. If we get it into here, we might be okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put the plate in and see where we get to. I don't remember which bolts came out of which holes though. stuff going on at least we bagged everything I'm almost in so I'm it's working we had to finesse it in and whatnot uh, but overall it lines up just right that you can set the forks down I'm touching on this one but we're off so I'm gonna have them pick it up we're gonna pry it I'm gonna get that one through the hole and then we're gonna get the rest of it so just need a pry bar um, oil line sticking out starters all there you just got to move all of this over just a little bit and you could do it with that but I do have two washers underneath the back side of here that have to get hooked up yeah this is a good time so when I was in college I had to do 40 hours of work at a dealership for my ag eng ag engineering program and I worked at the local deer construction dealer and I actually pulled the motor because it 
had a fuel tank that was bad. So I had a general idea. It was an older one, but still, that was eight years ago. They're not bad. If we, if we pulled it and we put it right back in, like within three weeks, it would be okay. But we live and learn. That's why I'm pushing on my truck. We're gonna get it back in. Ooh, we gotta watch out. He's touching on that. So he's gonna curl down and go up as he curls down. Otherwise, we're gonna crush the corner of the fuel tank. Um, I just want to make sure before I have him leave that this is going all the right way. Because it's got a little connector here. Where the fuck would that go otherwise? Well, worst comes of it, I'll have to pop this up and slip it underneath here. If I could, I can do that. He's not down yet, but, but at least she's in. Yeah! It's in. Only casualty. Pop that out, get a new one. We'll just put that, Ooh, must have moved on me a little, there we go, put that one in, this one we got to wiggle out so we're going to have to pry on it just a little bit, and then this goes in the bottom of each side, and then we got the front, and then it's all bolted down, which is cool, you figure out some wiring, put the hydrostat in, put the intercooler in, put the radiator in, the exhaust, the turbo, not a lot of stuff, just like I keep saying, I probably repeat myself too much on it. Um, stuff that I just can't remember, so it takes you longer. They made it nice so you can fit right in here. Look at this, plenty of work. Yeah, so people who don't work on skid steers, the cabs flip right up, so that's what's above me. Got the safety in, don't worry. And then you can do what you need to. Granted, we got the back hood off and the side panels, which they can come off pretty easy, but I'll pop these on and see where we get to. Ran into my first mistake. This wire is supposed to be up here. These bolts go to the top, I believe right here. Um, this wire goes on the side there. This wire that has all the prongs, it's full, goes all the way up to there, so. Yeah, I got it on the wrong side of that because none of that reaches. So I gotta pick it up, slide it underneath here, and then we're good. Just picked it up, slid it over on the right side, and now we're in a good boat. When the starter gets up, it's got a lot of free play. This goes over to there. Maybe I'll fig get this figured out. Yeah, maybe. Got it in. So one bolt there, and you got the two in the back here. So those are tight, actually. Um, what are you doing? Got to get the starter. So I've got to bring that up and slide that in. Um, two bolts. This one, got a ground on it as well. So let's pop you right there. Take that off, and then you put your ground on after. So we'll get those in. It's getting chilly. It's outdoor shop. Somebody forgot to turn the freaking heat on. Uh, tough to do it with one hand in there. Come on. I put that wire back on, which there's my issue. I'll just pop that back off. I thought that was gonna be in my way, but clearly now it's in my way. It's a big bolt just to hold wire harness on. Ah, oh, there we go. Really struggling with getting the starter in. Oh. I'm not sure why. Maybe all the wires being attached or making it a struggle or 
I don't know. I wonder if this will come off. No, that's a stud like that. That's got to go like that. There we go, got one in. Yeah. That's gonna be the biggest headache trying to remember how everything lays out. But got the starter at least started in there. Get it. This thing's gonna need a battery. I'm gonna need all the fluids. I think it almost needs a turbo. It's got some play to it. I don't know. I guess we'll see if they build a rebuild kit for it. That goes there. That goes here. <laughs> no idea where that... Oh, that must go up to there. So that's got to come off. It goes over there. This must go fuel sending unit. So there must be another. That must go there, and then that goes up to the or fuel gauge, I guess. There's two hold downs right here, which just hold the wire harness that goes to the back. I'm definitely gonna have to get some spray clean out all those harnesses they got filled with dirt before we ever capped them dust floating around parked in the driveway Ooh, that's a little brittle that's just a plastic grommet that goes over it. Busy day at the park, a lot of people walking around, which is fine. It's always weird when they come walking from out back and they're like, oh, we got lost. And I'm like, you didn't see the do not enter signs out there? No, oh, no, didn't see those. Okay, people. Got the connectors on, got the starter in there. This is, uh, alternator's gonna jump up here. I was gonna say, does that even spin still? I'm missing one bolt. I got one there. That's supposed to go up there. It's a big bolt for a harness. I guess I'll have to look around or we'll just get one. I'm not that worried about it, but all of these wires, I don't know if you can see in there. All of these wires are ground wires. They all actually go on that ground, and then the ground from the battery goes to that. So we'll get all of them wiggled on there. There we go. Yep. Gotta tighten that. Got one over here to do. Oh, let's see. That just slips right in there, if I remember right. Little bit of force. Yeah. Let's 
Get my two bolts. Oh, we're a little high. Should have had a mallet. We'll make do though. Doesn't take much force. Been stumbling around trying to figure out where this goes when I just remembered, yeah, the muffler's not attached to anything. This bracket actually holds the muffler in there. Um, my radiator and intercooler for this is actually packed full of sawdust and got taken out and never cleaned, so I can't put that in until we wash that. And honestly, I'm not gonna pull the pressure washer out at this time of the day. It's getting chilly and I think they're gonna be pressure washing tomorrow. So I'll leave those out to get those done. And then those are just gonna slip in. Um, and then realistically, we got the turbo and some other little things up in the back here and that'll be good. And then everything else is that way, uh, fuel lines. But I might actually get those on tonight, we'll see. I gotta get this plate on though and then the muffler bolts to that. But we won't put that on yet. Not till we get the turbo set up um, and get that all plumbed in so it's not too much in our way. That's on. And I was going to do the fuel lines and hang the fuel filter. But that hangs on this, which is a cross member from here up to somewhere, I forget, up to there, somewhere around there. So I guess we're not going to do that because, well... No point in putting that on because we got to put these on. So these are just pack full. We move a lot of sawdust and it sucks it into it. Um, new machine blows it back out, but these you got to really get into them and take stuff apart to clean them out. <sighs> Life of a skid steer on a farm. Well, based on what I got left, um, really can't do much. So this is a hydrostat. This is actually what drives. The skid steer makes all the hydraulic power for everything. So you got your remotes forward, backwards, and then you got your functionality of a pump as far as actually running the uh, functions in the skid steer, the bucket, lift up, down, all that stuff. Um, so that's got to get in. Pretty much the motor just drives that and runs everything else. It's like your transmission in your car. Um, these need to get washed beforehand. As you see, the sun is setting. Um, and I actually got to be up early to make sure your milk truck pickup goes smooth at the new startup. And if you haven't watched that video, slide, slide on over and watch the previous video, um, of what I do for a day job. So that can't go in, which is the air filter and the bracket, the oil fill line until those go in. Muffler's just not going on until the turbo goes on. Um, yeah, so... And I need two people to really get that in because it's that weighs a lot and you're in an awkward position. So I think that's going to be it. But we got the motor in. We got all the wiring wired up. Can't put the fuel filters on yet um, or the fuel lines either. Um, so we're in a much better boat than when I started. I got to, in my mind, I know what I'm going to do what i need i'm missing two one bolt as two bolts as of right now so that's pretty good um for being a year-long project right yanko got a new collar you guys want to check out yanko's new collar hey since i almost lost him i got given this collar 
which I really appreciate it. So Yanko got my phone number. He must be tired or something. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. So not a ton of action. Um, we're not into crop work or anything else like that. I do got some surprises hopefully coming up, which I'm excited for. Uh, but I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm going to get out of here. So thanks for watching. Make sure if you haven't done so, like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, what's going on with the channel and everybody leaving good comments. If I did something wrong today, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next video. Probably more working on this. I really want to get this thing going in the next video, which will be cool. It's been over a year that it sat. So. Have a good one. See you guys in the next one.